Saudi Arabia's widely ambitious estimated $900 billion NEOM project, the brainchild of Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, will be home to twin skyscrapers. These towering structures will boast a height of 1,640 feet and stretch horizontally for hundreds of miles. The buildings would contain a mix of residential, retail, and office space running from the Red Sea coast into the desert. Neom is located in the kingdom's northwest and is derived from the Greek word neos or new and muscabal, Arabic for future. Astonishingly, this new region will be no less than 33 times the size of New York City. Neom will bring to life Prince Mohammed's 2030 vision of transforming a remote part into an unmatched, high-tech, semi-autonomous space that redefines urban life. The smart city will be powered entirely by clean energy, marking a significant step for Saudi Arabia's shift away from oil-based economy. The 170-kilometer coastal strip in the northwest of the country will be free of cars and streets and have zero carbon emissions. The line, the centerpiece of Neom, will be built and will be home to 9 million people who will live in interconnected societies run by artificial intelligence designed to coexist with nature. Excavation on this massive project has already started and newly released satellite images and a progress film show footage of construction taking place across various regions, including the Line, Trojana, Octagon, Sandala, and the Neom Nimbus. The aerial views captured the progress on the 100-mile-long linear city. According to Giles Pendleton, the Line's executive director, the construction is progressing rapidly on one of the most important new urban developments in Neom and the rest of the world. If you haven't subscribed to Lux Inside, till now, go ahead and do so as we are always bringing out the unusual and unheard content on this channel every week. Plus, hit the bell icon to be constantly updated to all luxury-related topics. The Neon Project has been designed to respond to some of the most pressing global challenges facing urban areas and inspire an alternative way of living. The city is set to preserve 90% of the natural environment around the site, highlighting mankind's relationship with the natural world. All energy in Neom will be 100% renewable from solar, wind, and hydrogen-based power generation, ensuring a zero-emission, carbon-positive ecosystem. The team behind the Neom project claim that it will be a regional powerhouse in water production and storage anchored on water desalination. The project will also comprise several zones, including industrial and logistics areas, and a network of airports, including an international one. The first airport, called Neom Bay Airport, in the northern region of Sharma, had already opened last year and operates regular flights for Neom investors and employees. One of Neom's regions that will open to visitors in 2024 is an island destination, which will act as a main gateway to the Red Sea, offering visitors customized nautical experiences. The resort is centered around luxury tourism, with three hotels together introducing nearly 750 rooms and apartments. The Neom expects Sindala to punctuate the shoreline as a destination for super yachts. The massive turtle-shaped yacht called Pangeos would be cruising to Sindala in the years to come. Once it arrives in Sindala, guests will have access to luxury retail, a beach, and a yacht club. Trojina is another region of Neom that is currently under construction. It is a giant ski resort and outdoor destination located in the mountains, 50 kilometers off the Gulf of Aqaba coast. Trojina will be the center of Neom, where there are some of the highest peaks in Saudi Arabia, at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. Although it has not yet been built, the proposal is already planned to be the site of the 2029 Asian Winter Games. It is scheduled to be completed in 2026. Another attraction being renovated with Neom is the Nimbus, a five-star hot air balloon hotel. The kingdom's Nimbus hotels are aiming to reach new heights, with the five-star Saudi Arabia hot air balloon hotel flying. A stay at Nimbus will cost approximately 30,000 Saudi rials, or $8,000 a night, and will include pit stops at 20 locations in addition to Neom. Nazamal, according to Nasser Neom's chief executive, 
There are proposals for five to six resort development projects within the city running along the line with Nimbus. One of the most exciting aspects of Neom is its focus on research and development. The city's leaders are hoping to attract some of the world's leading researchers and innovators to help them develop new technologies and solutions to some of the most pressing challenges facing urban areas today. For example, Neom will be a hub for research into renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, and water conservation. Neom's futuristic design is intended to be both practical and aesthetically pleasing. The city will be built around a central transport spine known as The Line, a 170-kilometer-long, car-free urban corridor that will be home to over 1 million people. The Line will be connected to a network of smaller towns and villages, each with its own distinct character and function. The city's architecture will be designed to coexist with nature, with buildings that are integrated into the landscape and designed to be energy efficient. Neom will also be home to a wide range of cultural, recreational, and educational facilities. The city's leaders are hoping to create a vibrant, diverse community that offers something for everyone, from world-class museums and galleries to sports facilities and performance spaces. Neom, a visionary plan or an environmental nightmare? Despite its many promises, Neom is not without its critics. Some environmentalists have raised concerns about the impact the city will have on the local ecosystem. Others have questioned the viability of such a massive, ambitious project, pointing to the many challenges involved in building a city from scratch in the middle of the desert. One concern is that the construction of Neom could have a negative impact on the fragile desert ecosystem. The area is home to a number of endangered species, including the Arabian leopard, and many environmentalists worry that the construction of such a large city could disrupt their habitat and put them at risk. To address these concerns, the developers of Neom have pledged to take a number of steps to minimize the project's impact on the environment. For example, they have promised to use sustainable building materials and to prioritize renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. They've also committed to protecting local wildlife habitats and preserving the area's natural beauty. Another concern is the viability of the project itself. Building a city from scratch is an enormous undertaking, and Neom's developers will face a number of significant challenges as they work to bring their vision to life. Another major challenge will be attracting enough people to live and work in the city. While Neom's leaders are hoping to attract some of the world's top researchers and innovators to the city, it remains to be seen whether they will be able to convince enough people to relocate to such an unusual and unproven location. Above that, another challenge will be developing the necessary infrastructure to support the city. Neom will require a massive investment in transportation, utilities, and other essential services, and building these systems from scratch will be a daunting task. Nevertheless, there is no denying that Neom is one of the most ambitious and exciting urban development projects in the world today. If successful, it has the potential to transform not just Saudi Arabia, but the entire region, offering a new vision of sustainable, high-tech urban living that could inspire other cities around the world to follow suit. Despite these challenges, however, Neom's leaders remain optimistic about the project's future. They believe that the city's unique combination of cutting-edge technology, sustainable design, and high quality of life will make it a desirable destination for people from around the world. Neom is just one example of the many ambitious urban development projects that are underway around the world, from China's massive smart city in Chaigon to Toronto's innovative Kwai Side development. Cities around the world are exploring new ways to build sustainable, high-tech urban environments that can support growing populations while minimizing their impact on the environment. As the world's population continues to grow, urban areas will become increasingly important. By 2050, it is estimated that two-thirds of the world's population will live in cities, putting even more pressure on urban planners and developers to find sustainable solutions to the challenges of urbanization. Fortunately, advances in technology and a growing awareness of the need for sustainable development are making it possible to create cities that are both livable and environmentally friendly. By focusing on innovative design, cutting-edge technology, and a commitment to sustainability, 
cities like Neom are showing that it is possible to create a brighter, more sustainable future for all of us. That's all for today's video, and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more enticing Lux Insides videos. Thanks for watching.